they joined me live because it sort of pissed me off. Right, the reason why I'm going live, I didn't really want to see when I go live, I don't want people to join me live because it sort of pissed me off, but if I could just like, if someone does go online, it's a bit weird and it is weird, it is weird. So if, so if I see that somebody's online, I'll just try and ignore it. I'll just, I'll just like hold the phone like that and look at the road, which is what I should be doing anyway. But I'd just like to say there's a few things, right? Um, kind of have got a PhD in the motivation, right? I made a video called like uh, I'm better than David Goggins or whatever, right? Well, it's like. Like, how long have he's got? You know, how long have he's got? What I was thinking there, like, it might, it might not been, be in the air for this, the now, for this, the now, to be as good as, like, the Joe Rogan podcast with David Goggins, but cause you can kind of feel it sometimes when it's there, when it's no, you know. But I was thinking, like, my, my YouTube channel, right, I upload all this different shit, different different all motivational theme you know it's like I didn't see David Goggins doing any of that do you in my 601 videos right he's a bit of a one trick pony isn't he all he does is right all he says is yeah teach those motherfuckers wrong yeah oh I was a fat bastard and then I got fit Well, you can do the same yeah come on is that the best you can do you need to fucking up your game because I'm doing better than you! Do you know what I mean? Uh, he's a bit of a one trick pony, as I say. I've done the motivational thing in like 50 million different iterations on, on it, you know? And let's, you know, forget the content. Let's go, let's talk about the actual uh, athletic stuff as well. Eight solo double century unassisted rides in lockdown, 40,000 miles, yeah! Like, David Goggins, I'm not saying he's shit, but I'm just saying, What about me? What about my fucking shit? Is that all bullshit, is it? It didn't exist somehow! I'm the best fucking YouTuber in the whole fucking dumb place! Maybe in Scotland, came with the motivational stuff, and you upload this stuff and you two views, three views, What's wrong, Weez? Wake up! I've been trying to tease them. I've been trying to tease them. I've not even been giving them the full thing. I've been giving them weed 5%, 10% of what I've got, and they're still like, duh! Like when folk watched the Fred, what first watched the Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, he's bringing it, and they're just going, duh! Uh. Well, if you, if you look at my YouTube channel, right, I've got some new cycling subscribers. Well, you fucking subscribed, you're a fucking cyclist. I'm uploading cycling content. What's wrong with you? There's no fucking genius enough for me. You want to do a fucking video talking about how he changed a fucking puncture for 20 minutes? I'm your game. Maybe they need to watch content. Maybe the reason why folk didn't watch my shit is because they watch uh, content commensurate with their own mediocrity. Maybe you want to be a bit more kind of aspirational like me and watch uh, quality content, you know what I mean? The day that time stood still. That's a video I did. My brother told me, you know, like, like the guy that occurs, me and him, we bring out the best and the worst, right? My brother t told me, right? He goes, that's genius, Dave, right? Takes a lot for my brother to say that. You know what? I, so, you know what I mean? Even my brother said it's genius, right? And I'm not saying I'm a fucking genius, but... It's like, I've uploaded wee bits and pieces onto my Strava and they're like, Duh. Maybe they did get it. Maybe they didn't like it. Maybe they want me to do like a POV video. POV for 10 minutes going along a track. Da, 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 da. You know, pedestrian. Da, 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 da. What about all the, the flash editing and the, you know, the, the spark? The X Factor, he's not like that, you know what I mean? Up your fucking game! Maybe that's why I don't uh, go to the club, you know, because it's a bit pedestrian, you know. One of the guys that unfollowed me, one of the guys from, they hurt me, but 
I uploaded one of my rides once in Strava and I called it I called it uh, f uh, fuck Prince Philip up the arse with a big rubber dick or something like that and then he unfollowed me so that kind of sums it up you know there's a bit of a clash of uh, clash, clash of personalities there you know going back to the David Goggins thing this is quite interesting right I've done better podcasts right talking to Terry if you're up the road at Janefield the conversations we've had in depth you know fucking brilliant conversations intelligent in depth knowledge deep conversations the feeling the feeling the sparks in the air you know I could have recorded that recorded it stuck up on my YouTube uh, that would have easily blown uh, Joe Rogan's podcast with David Goggins out of the war easily because Terry knows the fucking shit because Terry knows the fucking shit Terry was in there back in the day with all the big names come on so as the great Michelangelo Beto said if you want to fly with the Eagles didn't hang about with turkeys you know what I mean and I've kind of done that I've kind of tried to up my game a wee bit you know so the quality some of the qualities there you know um, sent Michelangelo Beto, Ken, the guy that taught Rage Against Machines guitarist. I sent him one of my videos that I've done. And I said, "Will you get this? You know, that's pretty fucking amazing. It's amazing times we're living in. Actually, we're all connected to, to all these folk, you know. But I didn't have to be, I didn't have to be just sitting there watching someone else with the crick in my neck. What can I learn from this person telling me a load of boring shit? They already know. You know what I mean?" So I've I've like pushed the boat out, trailblazed, you know. I've developed some of my own styles in some of my videos, you know. De or developed, sorry, developed like new styles. I may have been, even have created some new genres in some of the content I've made. But as the great David Icke said, right, maybe they've been just hypnotised by Netflix the whole time, believing it's real. And then they watch it and they go, duh! And yes, as someone else said, you know, your, your stuff has to, you know, adhere to certain uh, conventions in a sense which I've actually done that I've actually upped, upped that let part of it to kind of like you know make the first stuff engaging and da -da -da. but but <laughs> but going to the, the likes of the, the like David Goggins podcast with Joe Rogan well they didn't do that did they they didn't like make it engaging they're just like sitting there comfortably blabbing on for three hours about the same shit it's a bit kind of pedestrian. What I aim for is clarity and density of expression. So like I say, I've kicked them out of the war. I've kicked them out of the war with my shit. I just didn't need sit, at, sit at a table getting stoned and talking about the same repetitive stuff over and over again, you know. So uh, I like I say, maybe the next time I go right, incidentally, go and... See, when I was at Terry's the other day, the sparks were flying, the energy was in the air. He fucking ramped me up like a kind of like a Mike Tyson's coach used to do. Just being in the same room with Terry, I was like ramped up. I was like literally shaking. Because he, he's like a kind of owner getting the getting his dog all ramped up to go and whatever, something like that. You know what I mean? He, he ramped me up and I said to him, I said, oh, what are we going to do, Terry? You're fucking getting me all excited, the arousal! And uh, he goes to me... Uh, I said, what What can I do? What should I do? I don't know what to do myself before tomorrow. I'm excited for this bike ride like it's a race day. And he, and he hand me, handed me a pile of uh, cycle magazines and said, watch that and listen to some Zappa and chill out, you know. But you came up, I mean, like, the fucking energy's been an all off the scale when I've been round at Terry's. It's not even funny. That day when I went round there and all the bike paths had been the new bike pass, all that at my old house and everything. It was in the air and I'm going round to my old house and he's on the same street and I'm going to see Terry and I'm going, this is fucking unreal. Um, and, uh, you know what I mean? I could have, like, if, if, say I had, like, recorded the conversations with Terry and edited I could have edited it all and spent all this time editing it all together with all this beautifully crafted, beautifully, you know, arm! Ah, excuse me. Our motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Talking to the cycling audience. It's like, he's not what to be uplifted. Ah, you gotta watch, G, gotta watch GCN and be hypnotised by man as tits, you know, watch the latest tech and spend 10,000 quid on a bike. If that's what you want to do, ah, go for it. But I'm not be doing that, but you know what I mean? 
because um, uh, I like I say the conversations I've had with Terry off the scale and it, I, like I didn't go I didn't talk to I've done that in the past I've talked to folk and I've said we should make a podcast this is fucking brilliant the, co- the, the quality of the discussion here the intelligence the insights, the the this and that, you know, to take to take stuff to new levels, you know. You're not gonna get that with David Goggins and Joe Rogan talking about well, okay, I'm not saying it's completely shit, but what I'm basically saying is did it be a fucking one trick pony, it's like, you know you're not that geed. You're geed, but you're not that geed. You haven't you haven't made all this uh, video content, you haven't it's just like and this, that's the problem. Folk just get hypnotised by the by folk like that. They're like, well, he's on Joe Rogan, therefore that's the person that I have to look up to and then you get into him. And it's like, fair enough, he's all right, but I'm not going to be sitting there hypnotised watching that. You know what I mean? Like I say, I've said, I've said, I've said those three hours and 20 minutes without trying to a better level. Maybe it's just the fucking intelligence, you care what I mean? And all the fucking 40,000 mile and all the fucking creative shit, you know what I mean? Like, I've done more than just the uh, ultra, ultra distance running and then all I say for three hours is, prove those motherfuckers wrong! I mean, that wouldn't get me very far, would it? You know, so like, David Goggins, up your game, pal! Up your game! I'm the fucking man!